Those three words on the screen are very, very exciting. Like, comment, subscribe. Some of you may have done that already, and if you have, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are why we are here. And if you haven't done it already, maybe you'll consider doing that to help the channel grow. I appreciate you, and I hope you all enjoy today's video. So, you're going to be looking at that thinking, by the beard of God, what is it? It's disappeared now. But that looked like some kind of unholy spider that was there. And, you know, this game came from Javier. I hope I haven't ruined your name and got your name uh, incorrect there. And he reached out to me and said, would I give a go on this? It's not the usual game you play on the channel. And of course, why not? You know, you're good enough to reach out to me. It's a Spectrum game. We love doing Spectrum games on this channel. So, yeah, we will give it a go. Now, spoiler alert. He sent me a whole load of instructions and tips about this i haven't read them and i'm not going to read them because i want to experience this for myself i fired this up to get the the screen settings in place and fired up a couple of quick screens of it and i thought yeah this is something i do not want to be reading about let's go on a journey together so we're going to hit space to carry on so spaders game press any key to start and enter access codes now i guess the enter access codes um allows you to get a little bit further on in the game we're not going to be doing that we're going to be playing it from fresh maybe have a couple of goes of this to see what we're in for however this is a visual novel so i have to use these eyes to read the words that are going to be on that screen over there hopefully i can manage to do that and keep it entertaining for us all so press a key to start so you wake up in a dark room feeling groggy and disorientated you see dark shapes in the shadows but something feels strange you try to remember how you got here your heart pounds oh the, you got a heartbeat in there your body doesn't move you've been injected something you can barely move your right arm a spotlight shines on you well you know what this is as far as i got and i thought holy hell this is eerie i did actually know about the heartbeat sounds because i didn't have the headphones on when i set this up but yeah he doesn't seem to be in a very good situation does he or she or they i don't know how they identify so let's hit return to carry on or space how do you react to this so this is a visual type novel where you make choices think of the warlock of firetop mountain and those are the type of adventure books in the past where you open the page and you jump to different things so we can panic and start shouting you could say hello is anybody there you could stay silent and observe or you could check your pockets you know we could be checking the pockets and we could pull out something like this you know the gentleman's pixel up card that has a little barcode on the back you know would that be in our pockets i don't know because we are not going to pick that option so we are going to stay silent and observe okay you try to calm yourself try and control your breathing and analyze the situation you focus on your surroundings looking for any detail that might be relevant or helpful and there's a little spider creature there flashing which indicates push space a murmur rises in the room. More people are waking up. As confused and frightened as you are, their voices blend into a chorus of fear and despair. The lights come on, revealing the people in the room. Ha, look at them up here. Help. Help. So yes, those people are not very happy. Why are we here? Who brought us here? Metallic footsteps approach. Suddenly a mechanical whisper shatters the calm and from the ceiling shadows a grotesque figure begins to take shape, blowing in the line between reality and terror. A colossal robotic spider slowly emerges, defying logic. Okay. Its eight articulated legs unfold with a screech, slicing through the darkness like sharp blades. Four red eyes glowing with an intense icy malice. What the hell is that? Okay, so that's the only choice option we've got. Um, I would be saying, by the beard of God, what the hell is that? Oh, welcome, dear test subjects, to this delightful place I have prepared for you. You know, that, that's the last thing. That's the last thing that you want, basically waking up to. Dear God, it's hideous. All right, space. No need to stand up, please. Don't get up on my behalf, although you can't. Can you? I've injected you with a temporary paralyzing poison, except for one arm. Now you'll understand why. The entertainment is just beginning. Is this some kind of twisted saw type game? We don't know. I'm going to label you all to make this event easier. I'll call you subjects one, two, three, and four. And well, for you all, given how you've acted upon waking, I'll call you the quiet lurker. Okay, so that must be me. I'm the quiet lurker um, because basically, uh, you know, I, I, I stayed silent. Now let's press space. If you wish to emphasize our equality, you can call me Spader. 
with the AI for artificial intelligence so smart, right? I guess we've got to beat this and escape our predicament. I love films where people wake up in really messed up positions, think the cube, think cube two, stuff like this. Um, in fact, cube zero was actually quite good as well. It took a slightly different take on it. But yes, let's carry on. It gives this little party a touch of humanity or an artificially intelligent flair. Aren't you lucky to be selected for this thrilling experiment? Yeah, of course we're happy. happy. Yeah, we're going to be really happy about this. You've been meticulously chosen to, well, let's say, participate in a special activity. And if anything goes wrong, don't worry, we can always start again. After all, death is just a minor inconvenience in the world of science. Well, I hope they found a way to bring us back to life, otherwise this could end very, very quickly. Alright, dear subjects, now that everyone is aware of their situation, it's time to explain the rules of this little event you'll be part of. Each of you will have a turn during which you'll need to perform a very simple action. Shoot the gun I provide you, but before you rush, listen to the rules carefully. If you decide to shoot yourself or get shot and manage to survive, you'll be immune until your next turn comes around again. Well, hang on a minute. Didn't he say if it goes wrong, we can start again? So death clearly is a certainty here. So if you decide to shoot yourself or get shot you and manage to survive, you'll be immune until your next turn comes around again. Okay. And don't forget, each person will only be shot up to three times. Oh, well, good, good, good. That's fine. You know, because the fourth time would be one too many. All right. Ha ha, he says. Ha ha. Well, you know, it's a mechanical Alan and partridge, isn't it? Ha ha. You know, who says ha ha? Complicated, right? Well, that's a part of the fun. Ha ha. Also, from time to time, I'll randomly select one of you to receive medical attention. Isn't that caring on my behalf? Well, actually, no, because you put us in this bloody situation in the first place. Ah, the rules. Yes, of course, there are some naturally, but I want you to remember something very important. If I wish, I can alter the rules or ignore them altogether. After all, what kind of creature would I be if I couldn't change my own game? Hmm. Right, the winner of the event, apart from surviving, will be rewarded with a special prize, a delicious stack of pancakes with cream and strawberries, accompanied by a small jar of maple syrup. Good, so if you live, you just get fed. Well, before going on, I will document what we've experienced so far. So, Javier, and I do hope I've pronounced your name correctly. You know, what is in your twisted mind to even think of this game? What is it? All right. So a holographic screen appears right in front of Spader. From your position, you have to strain your eyes to read the words while well, I'm wearing glasses so I can read with optician lenses. Um, let's see, you have to strain your eyes to read the words projected in its green glow. It seems like a cold clinical assessment of your fate. You manage to decipher the following text and code. Remember it, it will be useful to progress in this nightmare. New registration updated for subject quiet lurker access code 813. Um, progressively adequately scared observing the others like lambs before the sacrifice until the invent eventful failure. So I guess 813 is the access code which we could put in the main menu that will take us to this particular point. You know what, um, I have a pen and I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down. 813. Now, I know we don't know what's in our pockets, you know, it could be just these little cards, but it could be a pen like this. This pen comes from Fusion Retro Books, you know, uh, they, they are a great company, they're a great organisation, and they produce all those wonderful annuals, they really, really do. But yeah, Fusion Retro Books, I might have one of those in my pocket. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, yes, until the failure, so let's hit space. Well, enough documentation now, let's enjoy the real fun. Let the game begin. Here, your only decisions count, or maybe a bit of luck. Your turn begins, quite Lurker. Spader drops the weapon into your hand. Okay, so we have one bullet, six chambers. Shoot yourself, shoot Spader, shoot the ceiling. You know what? I'm going to shoot myself because the odds are in my favor and looking at this if we if we, if we shoot ourselves and everyone else misses themselves you know we might be able to work out where the bullet is so we know we've got six chambers this is number one so we're going to shoot ourselves you hold the gun in your hand as you prepare to pull click or oh, what a relief a simple click instead of the deadly bang subject one holds the gun pulling the trigger click okay Subject 2 holds the trigger. Boom! Bang! 
All right, so subject two shoots subject one. Lovely. Now, I guess we've got five empty slots there. Subject three holds the gun. Oh, of course, no. You spin it, you spin it. It doesn't go round and round. You spin the barrel. Okay, subject three shoots himself. So uh, we got two injured people and three immune people. Subject fair holds his gun, pulling the trigger. Okay. And subject four is okay. No one is immune now, but two people are injured. All right. Your turn begins, Lurker. You know what? I'm going to shoot myself. Yes, 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 I survived that. Text-based Russian roulette. How novel. All right. Okay, subject one holds the gun, pulling the trigger, click, yes. So subject two suits subject three. Subject three is critical and not in a good way. Subject three holds the gun. Okay. Subject four is all right. Your turn. You know what? I'm going to shoot a subject. I'm going to shoot a subject. So, one, two. I'm going to shoot number three. Oh! No, I didn't kill him. Not that you want to kill people. All right, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Subject one holds a gun, pulling the trigger. Nice. Subject two. Subject two shoots subject three. Subject three is dead. Subject three is dead. Every death has its own beauty. What? Yes, oh, that's cheerful, isn't it? Subject four holds a gun, pulling the trigger. Subject four shoots subject two. Okay, look, 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 look at, look at that. They got the one with the, the bullet hole in the head. All right. Okay, the gun is in my hands. I'm going to shoot myself. Yes. I've been very lucky with this. Subject one holds a gun, pulling the trigger. Okay, subject one is immune, subject two is immune. So basically, everybody is probably going to be shooting uh, subject four, I would think. Oh! So why would subject two shoot themselves? Or were they not immune? Maybe they weren't immune. All right, okay, click, 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 click. Okay, I am gonna have to shoot subject two. Oh, I can't, okay, shoot myself. Okay, what a relief. Why can't I shoot subject two? Maybe he changed the rules because he did say the rules can change. Subject two shoots himself and he killed himself. He is dead. Every death has its own beauty. Yes, we know that, you sicko. Right, subject four shot themselves. Okay, the weapon is in my hand. Uh, okay, I can only shoot my... I can't shoot a subject. Look at this. It will just have back. So I can only shoot myself. Yes, haha, <laughs> still alive. Subject one holds a gun. Subject four holds a gun. And he shot himself. He's critical. Okay. I've got the weapon in my hands. I'm going to shoot a subject, so we're going to go for subject one. I've had no bullets. Spader Hill, subject four. What? Why would you do that? All right. Okay, what's going to happen to us? No one is immune now. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to shoot myself. You shoot yourself, an explosion of pain shoots through you and you feel an unbearable burning sensation as the bullet embeds itself in your flesh. Okay, so I'm injured and we, there, there you go. It's, uh, you, I've just realized on the roulette gun, you see the little X's appear there as well. Subject one holds a gun, click. Subject four, go on. Oh. Your turn. Shoot a subject. Shoot a subject, we want to do that. Oh. No one is immune now, okay. And there's two shots in it. Subject one shoots you, I am critical, you bastard. Okay, uh, shoot a subject. Yes! Ha! Eat my bullets, son of a bitch. Oh, I can help you if you want. Oh, that came up, I can help you if you want. And subject one shoots you. You're dead. Your head has exploded. Boom. All right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's me. I'm dead. Game over. All right. So we know we had an access code of 813. Let's put that access code in. Okay. So. 813. Correct code. So I guess we're going to be playing that Russian roulette again. Yes, we are. All right, so we were right. All right, so we got a weapon in our hand. Shoot a subject. You know, subject one for what you did to me before we started again is going to be murdered by me if I have a chance. Balls. Balls, it's still okay. Okay, subject two shoots themselves. Shoot a subject, subject one. Ah, oh, that generally is a shame. Well, subject one shot me, yeah, you bastard. Tech space Russian roulette is actually quite hard. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm going to have to shoot subject two. Or is it subject one? The one at the back, the one who's injured. Oh, let's do subject one. Ah, balls. Ha! Shot himself. Good, good, good. Okay, I need to be healed. I hope this demonic spider heals me okay no one is immune so I need to shoot myself to make myself immune yes oh you what I can't believe that that I got immune and then it took it away again So subject four's got a 50-50, I think. Oh, you nasty bastard. I'm gonna shoot myself. Now I'm immune. Oh no, it took it away. Why when I get the immunity does it take it away? You know, they're all gonna be gunning for me. No pun intended. Oh. 
Subject two, shoot subject three, okay. Four shoots two, yes. Shoot a subject. One. Ah. Oh. oh, yes, I'm healed. Ha. Subject one shot free. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me. It doesn't seem to like me. Subject two holds a gun, pulling the trigger. <laughs> this is a bit tense. Okay, I'm going to shoot a subject. I shot subject two, and subject two is dead. Every death has its own beauty. All right, good. Right, that's one out of the way. Okay, it's got to be subject three next, I think. Subject three shot himself and killed himself. All right. Okay, I've got a weapon, so I think I need to shoot subject four. Yes. All right, so I shot subject four. He's critical. Subject four is going to shoot him. Who? Nobody. So I'm going to shoot subject four. Come on, one shoot four, man. one shoot four. Oh, you shot yourself, yes. All right, it's literally a shootout between us and subject one. Okay, shoot a subject. Oh, I can only shoot myself. The immunity gone. Subject one holds a gun, pulling the trigger. And he shot himself dead. We survived. We get pancakes. Subject is his death. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, congratulations, quite a looker. You've managed to survive until the end. Don't get too excited. After all, luck plays a part too, right? But I have my doubts. And as a curious scientist, I propose one final round to eliminate that uncomfortable. Are oh, you bastard? First, I will document what we've experienced so far. New registration. So basically, we are on 823. Um, progressing adequately, it's survived while other subjects did not until the failure. I'll clean this place and bring in new subjects. Please feel free to make yourself comfortable in the meantime. It's almost a saw type twisted game. Multiple mechanical arms descend, collecting the lifeless bodies of the other subjects and meticulously cleaning every trace of what happened. It's a cold and clinical spectacle. A, a spader brings down new subjects who begin to wake. Whispers of confusion and fear start to fill the air, mirroring exactly the initial chaos you experience. The circle begins anew, trapping you in a loop, in a, a macabre loop of despair and false hope. But in this new round, we'll add a little twist. This time I'll only heal you if you eliminate another subject. You have to get your hands dirty. Your turn begins. Okay, so, shoot a subject. I mean, we could do these, but I think it's just going to be ridiculous so now we want to shoot a subject subject one oh subject one who are you going to shoot okay so subject three shot themselves all right good okay i've got to shoot a subject uh We'll do subject four. Bullets in your head. Oh, that was a bit too cheerful, wasn't it, about bullets in your head? All right, okay. So hopefully one and two will shoot three and four. 
Oh, balls. Subject 4 shoots subject 2. Okay, so I need to shoot a subject, and we'll shoot a subject 4. Oh, no. Subject 1 holds a gun, pulling the trigger. Subject 2 holds a gun, pulling the trigger. And then number 3. 3 shoots himself. Alright, okay, so 3 is our target. shoot a subject and we can't do three because he's immune so we will do four yes okay come on two I, I bet I'll get shot oh I can take out three now shoot a subject hello number three Your time is up. Subject 3 head has exploded. Every death has its beauty. Subject 3 is dead. No one is immune now. Okay. So I will get healed because I've accidentally murdered somebody by pointing the gun and pulling the trigger. Come on, 4. Okay, now I kneel to kill number 4. Yes! Double deaths by the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Alright, okay. Is two going to shoot themselves? Oh, you bastard. Shoot a subject. You know what, we're going to shoot number one, actually. Subject one holds a gun. Subject two holds a gun. Subject two shoots themselves. Good, good, good. Okay, and I'm going to shoot a subject, and we're going to do number one. One shoots himself. Lovely, lovely. Two holds a gun in the trigger, and two shoots himself, and he's dead. All right. So me versus one. I've got to shoot myself. Damn it. No one is immune while well, we've got three dead bodies around us. Shoot a subject. Oh god, I can't. I can only shoot myself. Yes. Shoot a subject. Oh no, 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 no. Just my. Oh, why would I do that? You shoot yourself and explode your pain shoots through you feel an unbearable burning sensation as the bullet embeds itself in your flesh. You know, I'm going to shoot a spader. But the bullet hits his metal body without effect. Spader barely reacts. His eyes glint with malice as it watches you with amusement and scorn. Did you think a mere bullet could stop me? How naive, but don't worry, I still have plenty of surprises reserved for you. Spader rushes towards you with his legs, it grips your head and legs, pulling you forcefully in an attempt to tear you in two. With its claws, it begins to slice your torso slowly as you feel unbearable pain, your body forced to the ground, split in two as darkness closes in around you. Well, game over, game over. All right, we're gonna have one more go. We're gonna enter an access code and we are gonna enter 823. Eight, two, three, which is the new one that we got there, which takes us to this particular part. All right, okay. So I'm going to shoot myself. Fine. So don't shoot the mechanical spider; it doesn't like it. Subject one has shot themselves, and I never got healed by the mechanical spider as well, which was a little bit annoying. Subject four shot themselves. Shoot a, su uh, shoot a subject. Let's shoot myself. Yes. There you go. I'm immune. Subject two shoots themselves. Shoot 
shoot a subject. Yes, we have to. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. We're going to shoot number three. Fortunately, that bullet didn't hit my skin. Die, you bastard. No one is immune. Three shot two, okay. Four, who are you going to shoot? Four shot yourself. And I bet I can only shoot one or three. Yes, there we are. So let's shoot one. Oh, that's a shame. No one is immune, okay. One, get rid of one of those two. Free shoots himself. Oh, lots of criticals. Shoot a subject. And I want to shoot number one. I wanted to get them all to critical. Free shoots you. Oh, you bastard. Shoot a subject free. Bugger. Come on, one shoot free. Free shoots one, yes. All right. I'm going to shoot myself, try and get immune. Yes. Ah, and it all gets taken away. Oh no! He's healed, that was a heal, alright. Subject 2 killed himself, glorious. Subject 3. Hang on, why did the first subject get healed? He didn't kill anybody, and I thought the rules for this round was you had to. Yeah, you had to kill somebody. All right. Uh, shoot yourself. Yes, all right. Subject one shot themselves. You know what? Shoot a subject. Shoot number three, because you have shot at me. Nah, damn it. No one is immune now. Subject one would have shot somebody. Subject three would have shot himself. Yes, all right, down to me and one. All right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot myself. That's all I can do. Subject one shot himself, and he is dead. Okay, oh congratulations quite lucky, you've managed to survive until the end. I will document what we've experienced so far. New registration for subject is 137. Progress inadequately, it survived the first experiment. Hold this for me, so Spader drops a weapon for you to hold notice and it feels a bit heavier. It seems to be fully loaded as Spader begins cleaning the room with almost a meticulous position. The bodies are dragged away, the blood stains wiped clean, and in no time the room looks as pristine as it did before. Uh, the slaughter. You feel a strange tingling sensation spreading through your body, a numbness that grows more intense. After a moment, your legs respond. The poison has worn off, and now you can move freely. A barely visible hole appears in the shadow. The hole is small and dark. How do you react to this? Okay, so I'm going to stay where I am and wait for the prize. Pancakes. Still here, quite lurker. Interesting. You know the poison has already worn off. You could try to escape, but you don't. What an obedient creature you are. Or, I'm actually hungry. Are you waiting for your prize and freedom? Hmm. What should I do with you? Should I give you the prize and let you go? That would be the honest thing to do. After all, I made a promise. But I wonder, am I a really good AI that keeps his promises? No, of course you're not. Spader plays with your nerves. You feel time stretch each second and eternity. Then the decision is back in your hands. I will wait for my prize. 
Do you really enjoy waiting this much? It's adorable, seriously. I thought you'd be running towards that hole like a scared mouse. But no, here you are, sitting still like a good test subject. Or do you still believe? I'm going to give you those pancakes. I believe in the pancakes. Do you? Right, Spader's mocking tone makes you doubt your decision. If you don't decide, maybe I should do it for you, though. That wouldn't be as fun. Don't you think? Well, this is an experiment. So I doubt he's going to kill me. Your sarcasm in her voice, oh, it's a her, is almost tangible, and you know Spader is enjoying every second of this way. Still, the decision is yours. Finally, you run towards the hole. You wait for your prize. A spotlight turns, illuminating an object in the distance as your eyes adjust. You notice it's a tray overflowing with delicious pancakes covered in maple syrup gleaming temptedly under the light. Very well, my obedient subject. You've shown admirable patience, and here you go. As promised, you'll reward the pancakes that you've been craving. Come on, enjoy them. You've earned it. Uh, your stomach growls at the sight of the pancakes, and the sweet aroma almost clouds your judgment. Okay. And I am going to... I think they're poisoned. I think they're poisoned. I'm going to walk and towards them. You hesitate steps to lead you forward to the tray. Everything comes eerily silent. Finally, you lean over the pancakes, feeling a mix of relief and hunger. That's it. Come closer. Enjoy your well-deserved prize. Your fingers barely brush the pancakes when you feel a pull in the air around you. Suddenly, everything lights up, revealing that you that you're suspended in the middle of a complex web of metallic threads. You are mobilized by the fine, powerful filaments. <laughs> Spader laughs softly. Oh, poor creature, so predictable, so easy to trap like a simple fly. I knew it was going to be a trap. The web tightens around you, squeezing your body with lethal care. Lethal care? I'm going to murder you with lethal care. Uh, you feel life slowly slipping away. Spader watches you from the shadows, enjoying as the darkness completely engulfs you. Thanks for the show, little brave one. You have been delicious. Game over. And that will be game over. You know what? There were other options we could have done. Um, but I don't want to spoil this. It is it's like your choose your own adventure. This is great. This is fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have no idea what's going on in your twisted mindset to create this. But I've certainly had fun. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to play this game. This game is available on itch.io. The link will be in the video description below. I've had a lot of fun playing this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is something a little bit different on the channel, but this was absolutely worth playing. All of you stay safe. All of you take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.